On February the 11th, 1858, our Blessed Mother appeared to Bernadette Subaru, a young 12-year-old girl, at the Grotto of Massabiel in, in Lourdes in France. She didn't understand what it was at first. She described it as a, a beautiful lady dressed in white with a blue girdle around her waist and ro yellow roses on each of her feet. There were going to be 18 more apparitions that Bernadette would experience at Masabiel. And when, at one point, Bernadette asked, who are you? And she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. Just prior to that, the church had declared it a dogma, Mary's Immaculate Conception. Bernadette didn't even understand what it meant when she was asked, she didn't know. What, what Immaculate Conception meant. And so it was proven that it was a real, true apparition of Mary. And it isn't so much about Mary herself as it is about the Immaculate Conception that God prepared her from the moment of her conception to be a fitting mother of his son. The apparitions at Lourdes brought many people back to the faith. The message of the Blessed Mother through Bernadette was pray for the conversion of sinners, pray the rosary, do whatever he tells you. We heard Mary say to, the, to, to these uh, servants at the wedding feast, do whatever he tells you. Everything, every devotion of our Blessed Mother leads us to Christ. I've been to Lourdes about four times. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, you just feel the presence of God when you walk into the whole area where the grotto is. It just feel like you're in a holy place. Mary told Bernadette to tell the bishop um, to build a shrine there. And so there's a beautiful basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary um, right there on the, on the spot where she appeared. And of course, there's the miraculous waters that came up from the ground. And you know the story. And thousands of people have bathed in those waters. I have myself and was cured, actually, of a sickness that time I was there. And it isn't so much about the physical healings, but the spiritual healings. Everybody that goes there has a miracle of faith, a deeper belief in Christ. At night, every night, they have a procession with the Blessed Sacrament, or every afternoon, I should say. And the priest processes through the crowd with the Eucharist, blessing the people with our Lord. In the evening, they have the procession and pray the rosary. And it's a wonderful thing over the loudspeakers. Well, they have big signs that they give different people to carry. One will say English, one will say Mexican, one will say Puerto Rican, one will say German. And over the loudspeaker, <coughs> They begin the Hail Mary in all those different languages. And then all the people gather around their sign where their language is. And when they respond to the second half of the Hail Mary, uh, they do it in their own language. It's such a wonderful thing to hear all those voices of different languages coming together in prayer. But at the, um, <clears throat> at the beginning of the rosary, the wonderful thing is that they pray the creed in Latin. And so all the voices together in Latin are praying the creed that we of all the doctrines that we believe in the church are all contained in the creed. It's just such a wonderful experience to have those voices come together in prayer. So many thousands of people go to Lourdes every year and the crowds got too big to people couldn't all fit in the basilica. So they built one underground. It's magnificent. It, it's just a whole area of grass. But underground is a basilica that holds 3,000 people, or more than that. And it's just wonderful to go into it. And the, and the basilica is in the shape of a, um, remember Jonah and the whale? <clears throat> and um, it's, it's, it's like the rib cage of, of the whale. And so you feel like you're, you're inside that. When I was there, there were about 400 bishops that came and priests, you know, to celebrate a mass. It was really astounding. There's the Stations of the Cross that you pray going up a hill. 
and it's it's a steep hill. The station, the figures in the stations are all life size. They're all made of bronze, and they're life size. When you get all the way to the end of the 14th station, there's a chapel, and inside that chapel are about 30 confessionals. That's all that's in the chapel are confessionals. And so praying the Stations of the Cross, you come to the end and then receive the Sacrament of Penance. Mary's message was to pray for the conversion of sinners. And so everything about Lourdes leads you, leads you to Christ. So it's a great feast day today. There's, it's being celebrated throughout the world. God is so good allowing our Blessed Mother to appear in 1858, just another sign of the truth of his revelations and, and the truth of his being the savior. And so we're really grateful for, um, for this feast day. And maybe we can remember those words today of the Blessed Mother, do whatever he tells you. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.